guys. Today, we're going to be talking about something called a coat of arms. A coat of arms is kind of a symbol that would represent your family. A long time ago, during medieval times, when there were knights and queens and castles and kings and all that. So every family had a different little shield design that would represent them. So your last name probably has a cool design, a cool coat of arms that goes along with it. Um, here's some examples of what they might look like. There's lots of classic looking cool ones with lions and hawks and eagles and deer and all kinds of stuff like that. But we're gonna work on just the shield shape today. So I'm gonna take this piece of paper and I'm gonna hot dog fold it. When I say hot dog fold it, that means you fold it down the middle so it looks like a hot dog bun. It's long and skinny like a hot dog bun. Not taco fold, hot dog fold. So I'm gonna fold that in half like so. Okay, and now that I've got it folded in half, this is how we're going to make our shield. Um, just like if you were to make a little heart at Valentine's or something with a folded piece of paper, we're gonna use symmetry to make our shield. So this is the folded part, this is the open part, and I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna just kinda cut from folded part, bottom corner. From the bottom corner of the folded part, I'm gonna cut a little triangle off like that, okay? So I just cut a little triangle off. This is the folded part, this is the open part. And when I open it, I've already got kind of a shield shape, which is gonna look pretty cool. But I want it to look a little better than that. So I'm gonna cut something off of this side and something off of the top to make my shield look even cooler. Um, maybe off the side, and you could do all kinds of different things. Maybe I'll cut a little, almost like a little hill shape, like that. Maybe I'll cut a little triangle out right here. Okay. And maybe I'll cut a square or a little rectangle out right there. But see how I just kind of cut some little shapes out of my side like that. And what happens is when I open it, it already looks pretty cool, don't you think? All right, now the top. This is a part you could really make look cool. I could cut a little swoop out like that. If I cut little rectangles out, it's gonna make the top of my shield almost look like a castle, which is kind of cool. I could cut out some little rectangles. If I cut out triangles instead, I'd have spikes across the top of my shield. But now you can see I've got a really cool looking shield design that I can decorate with whatever symbols and designs I want to represent me or my family. So that's where we're gonna stop today. Next week I'm gonna talk about some of the different symbols and colors you can use when you're designing it. So I just want you to try a couple different shields. You could cut out two or three of them and get one that you like. So try different shapes cut out from the top and the bottom. I mean the top and the side and the bottom part you can kind of cut the diagonal line. If you made that curved on the bottom instead of slanted, that can look pretty cool too. If you want it to be more of a curved bottom shield like that. All right. I hope you had fun. We're gonna run with something um, the next couple of weeks to make this look really cool. We might even put a handle on the back of it to make it a little shield, um, which would be a lot of fun. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.